<laughs> There's something that's been bothering me because I was at this function. Uh, this, uh, they was talking talk, talk about uh, reparations, but they didn't talk about. They didn't talk about specifically to what I call, what we call, uh, American descendants of chattel slavery. They were talking in general, oh, black and whatever. Have you. Anyway, they had this white woman on the panel, and um, and she did this book and, and identifying certain things about slavery, whatever have you. And then somebody at the end asked her why why is she doing this or whatever it is, and and um, she was saying it was her calling, and and you know she she felt that it, it was, she wasn't doing the, the guilt thing. But she was really doing like, you know, this, it had to be done or something for her soul, or whatever she was saying. And I was just wondering, because she was talking about this this um, incident of, of somebody doing a film and not understanding what one of the people in the film was going through. But the person doing the film was an outsider, as, as we say, but the person in the film was, was a person. So I was wondering, when you have a lot of these uh, well-meaning uh, outsiders, I'm just going to say outsiders, um, and they're trying to do stuff for or whatever have you, and they'll touch on certain things, like they'll do Indigenous Day or they'll do Thanksgiving Day, whatever it is. But then uh, the rest of the year, whatever it is, or what should happen? I'm just I don't even know what, what I'm asking you, but I'm just trying to figure. Do you get that a lot? I mean, how, oh, yeah. how, how how should people assuage their things? Should they just change the whole system, tear down the whole system that that that, that the outsiders have caused? And I don't know. Well, part of it has to do with with, with a simple thing, listening. You know, when, when people get this calling <laughs> that they mm -hmm. talk about, they often feel like like they have to lead something, that they have to help lead a charge. And, you know, and, and I don't care who you are. If you're an oppressed people and you're looking to uh, people outside of your group to be allies, and we see this all the time. I mean, uh, Standing Rock. Look at, mm -hmm. look at how some of these famous people come in here. All of a sudden, you know, even Amy Goodman or... Uh, um, uh, you know, some of these actresses, you know, Jesse Jackson, Jackson shows up, and, mm -hmm. and it's like the, they come in and they, uh, and, and they get a lot of recognition, they get a, a lot of attention, but the message gets lost. I think the biggest thing that we need from, uh, from allies is them to take the time to understand and to listen, and we're not looking for sympathy. Empathy is probably something closer to what we're, what, what, what we want people to to at least strive towards. Because if you empathize, what you're trying to do is not replace us, or not champion, uh, be our champions, but to understand, just to understand. And that's what we see in a lot of these circumstances when 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 people want to feel energized to 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 right a wrong. You know, this gets sometimes into that same debate about the difference between not being racist and being anti-racist. I mean, if you want to talk about, um, you know, change, you have, first you have to acknowledge the white privilege that exists if you're a white person, and or what, uh, whatever, whatever prejudices you may have been um, affected by and try to, you know, try to beat that down with inside yourself. I mean, I, I, one of the things that, that I cite oftentimes is, um, is, is the doll test. For people who aren't familiar with the doll test, oh yeah, 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 which is and this has been done over and over again over the years. It's been done with flashcards. It's been done with dolls. But when you take a a very young child, black and white, and you ask them, present them with a white doll and a black doll, it's people are are not surprised to hear the white child say, "Oh, the white doll's the good doll. The white doll's the pretty doll. The white doll's the you know, um, you know, uh, is is." is the one you know that I want to have kind of thing is the good doll but the black child says that too because even at four five six years old they've already been in doctor that's why we still have black police officers who can be just as violent towards a black man as a white police officer because the doll test is it has already been this they've already been affected by it so the first thing we all have to do is own is is own or begin to realize some of the things that we've been prejudiced by for our whole lives, even sometimes our very young lives, and and try to battle that you know what should be a cognitive dissonance associated with that. And so when you when you ask, well, what can you expect out of out of people who want to help? The first thing they got to do is listen. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Sure.